I will it, guys. So like I said, I was actually going to give an uh, MT4 ICT model giveaway. So actually, it's called the Smart Money Concept. And we're actually going to be making of the Smart Money Concept. You have to know some certain things. Like if you ever grab the other block, what else? Uh, BOS, break of structure, stage of character, CH, OCH, what it means and everything. I might not be able to explain how it talks very well here now, but what I'm actually going to do in this video is I'm actually going to tell you guys on how to install it, then how to use it, you understand, the effective way on how to use it. That's for those that don't actually know how to go about this. Um, para, um let me just see this um terminologies of the CEO age viewers and stuff like that. So if you actually just pay attention, like I said, it's an MT4. It's an MT4 indicator, doesn't work for MT5. So I'm coming, I'm trying to okay. So basically, when I actually give you the indicator, you know, all you just have to do is you come to your file. You understand? Probably when I give you the indicator, you copy the indicator. You understand? Well, just click or you copy it. Then you come to your file under here. Then you open your data folder. Then when you open your data folder, it's actually going to write to a folder where your MT4 data is. So you see all these things exactly like this, even though you're actually using Windows. You understand? So you click on your MQ, MQL4. Then it's actually an indicator. Then you come to the indicator. Then you control V. And when you control V, then you see it there. It is called smart money. Let's check for it. Smart can you see now it's already here? Smart money concept. You understand? So once you click on that, so when you click on that, you just go, you click here back, then you look for the indicator here. And if you can look at you can just come to your chart here or insert. Indicator come to custom, then all the way you look for what your smart money concept. See it here. Then what the next thing we'll do, we'll click on it, it brings all these things that we'll click on okay and boom. Then you see we already have everything here, you understand? So that's basically on how to install this model. Actually, uh, this is actually like an offline market, so it won't be really literally suitable to, to, to prove or to show you guys. But let me try and see. So basically, how does this thing work? Actually, um, on how this thing works, I really don't guarantee you that you understand hundred percent when I tend to explain now, and that's because it's more legs for this advanced training that is the international trading concepts you understand so but if you're actually following the class you actually doing recently that shouldn't really be a problem like that so now the basic things this um um indicator provide is the fair value gap and um the other blocks you understand and i know most of us actually know what another blocks means you understand that's actually opposite um candlestick Less before an expansion movement, you understand. So we have the for that block. We have the bearish order block and the bullish order block. So now that was so much of our time. We can see this was actually a powerful movement, you understand. So the last candlestick before the, the opposite candlestick before the powerful movement is the other block. So for instance, this is the other block around there. This actually, sorry about that. This is another other block around there. Because after the candlestick was a powerful movement. So that will actually even lead us to this is actually to another class because now we now here now we have external order block and internal order block. This is actually an internal order block because this is our low. Okay, sorry, this is our low here. We have a low here, we have another block here. This is a powerful move, we have another block here, other blocks, other blocks. So these are internal, internal order blocks. You understand? So don't let me confuse us here. Yeah, so we'll talk about that in our academic class. You understand? So what you actually have to just notice is that this is actually a live class, so a live chat because the market is closed, so it might be a little bit kind of. So I'll just put out where it has occurred, and you know, okay, this is a one minute time frame. Wow, not going to be easy as I thought. Actually, an offline class, so. I believe it's a bit hard. 
Well, let me explain the model. The model is just that when the price, this price will actually spot out the other block for you, you understand? So since it's not going to spot it out because it's an offline chart, let me just spot it myself out for you. So I'll spot them manually out for you. So, so now basically it's a, a chart of good, you understand? Though fine, we didn't actually take any signal on Friday, but it actually was expected of good, you understand? Now, Zoom in now, zoom into this particular point. Now, this is another block because this is the last, <clears throat> the last of us candlestick before what? Before an expansion in price. That is a powerful movement, a powerful pressure sell or a powerful pressure buy. You understand? Now, so now, this is the other block now. All our expectation is when the price of the market is actually, have to actually come to this other block sooner or later. So, we actually using the other block to take it from the head to the tail. You understand? That is the beginning to the end. That is the head, the eye to the low. Let me use that. So the fit is when the price of the market will still come to this particular place in the future, and when it gets to this particular place, there has to be what there has to be a change. Sorry, there has to be an instant change in direction of the market. So let's see if the market has actually done that. Can you see, guys? I think this was the news. This was the news of uh, on Friday. And after the news actually hit it, it came down powerfully as well, leaving an other block to around here. If you notice, so this is how powerful this other block work. This is actually an offline chart. That's why it's not actually processing the this in itself. Now, this is another block too. If you notice, because after this candlestick was the powerful movement, and what happened around that place too after that? Don't let us even look at you look, look look at this. Okay, this is when the There's a break in. Let's look into the smaller time frame to understand what actually happened over there. Hmm. Looking at the smaller time frame, I haven't seen nothing. Okay, let me try to zoom out so we'll get better to understand of what's actually happening here. Okay, so we are looking here around GFR. Okay. Okay. Why is this thing hard to find? See, you know, this particular one. So basically, there was another block around there, but because of the news, I had to react around this particular other block. Normally, the price was tend to change from the from the the, the price tend to change. Within the range of the high and the low of the other block, you understand? Probably because of the news. That's why it actually broke out with a week. And you know, when we see a week and it falls back into a particular price, we tend to know that it's actually the manipulations of the institutional people trading, you understand? So after that, again, I'm trying to point out other blocks and possible place. So just like we have the bearish, we have the bluish. So where's another other block we can actually use? This is actually another block too as well. You see, after this last candlestick, there was a powerful movement downward. So let's pick the eye. Where is it? And the low of the other block. Uh, where are you? Okay. See the eye and low of the other block. I'm sorry, I'm taking the... I'm talking about the green candlestick. You can see. Boom. Then after that, there was a change in the reverse side again. So that's how that block. So the more you see, if you actually see the other time frame, you see other blocks. So but other blocks from the higher time frame are more and more powerful than other blocks you see actually in the lower time frame. Do you understand? So that's how it works. So your expectation is when there's actually a bounce on another block that is you don't actually expect something about the internal and external other blocks at that time. That's not, external other blocks are mostly other blocks found around a very strong zone that is. A demand and supply zone, not resistance and support too. That is the proving, the proving, the proving zones. Do you understand? That is has been tested. Price has tested those zones around maybe two or three times. You understand? Those are what they call the external, external, external other blocks. You understand? And when price tends with each these other blocks, 
around these ones. They change to be a reverser. No, they have to be a reverse, not reverser. Yeah, sorry, reverser. Yeah, reverser. Reverser in direction of the market. But this internal other blocks, when price eats it, it tends to be a retracement. That is, it's actually used as a key level, as a pivot point to retrace the market or to look for a preliminary support or preliminary resistance that push the market upward or downward. And what I mean by that is now looking at this, actually this, because this is actually the eye, this is the low. So now this will be our what? External order block, external order block. So any other block that falls within the range from this eye to low, we have our internal order blocks, you understand? That is to say that if the market is actually falling down here, we already know the market is actually coming down here to this internal uh, external order block here. You understand? That is this zone here. So any other block that is formed within around this movement will be internal order blocks. That is, it will make it to be be acting upward and up, 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 or down, but yet it's still coming here. Do you understand? So that's the difference between the external and the internal order block. You understand? So once you see an order block from the range of eye to low, Know that they are more causing for me, but you see another block around maybe a zone, then you should know that it tends to be there might actually be a change in reversal. So another thing is you can't really truly understand this concept very well, you understand, without you going through the advanced class, you understand, because the other things that this actually model this one that uh, indicator works for, which is the equal eyes, equal low spotting out liquidity and so many other things. So if you don't really like just chew your balls and learn this thing, I actually find it very difficult to understand why is in this boat, you understand? But I wish you best of luck. For those that already know the the theoretical aspect but doesn't really know how to draw it. So this will actually be a useful this thing for you. Because this thing will actually bring everything up by itself. So thank you guys. God bless you. So yeah.